place to leave, but packing up our apartment proved to be more than we bargained for. As you can see behind us, it was definitely more than we bargained for. <laughs> we are pulling a U-Haul trailer behind us, headed towards Delaware. We're gonna see my sister for the night and our two cute little nieces. I'd finally get some sleep. Yes, oh my finally gosh. Get some sleep. We have not slept for days, a little a couple hours here and there, so we're really excited about that. Day three begins. We're passing over a beautiful bridge in Maryland on our way to Kentucky. Say hi, Anthony. Hello. We had a wonderful evening with our nieces, uh, hanging out, painting toenails. We're in Louisville, Kentucky now at my brother's. We're here, we made it. We got some rest last night, the most we've had in a while, and we're feeling a lot better. Yay! Yes, yeah, so we're feeling much better today. We drove through a really crazy rainstorm today after having lunch with Anthony's grandmother. Hi, Francis. This Sunday, I'll be leading a women's circle with some incredible women from Louisville, but tomorrow, we will head to the Mighty Kindness Coot. Here we are in Louisville, Kentucky at the Mighty Kindness Hoot. Uh, services for body, soul, heart, and mind that make our commonwealth more rooted and kind. We're so honored to be a part of this festival and we just were interviewed by WCHQ 100.9 FM. Uh, these guys have been on the radio for two years and had an internet radio show for four years before that and uh, are bringing community together and just bringing awareness around all of the wonderful vendors at this awesome festival. So we're gonna give you a quick look around here. Mighty Kindness has, has always been the, the good positive, the feel that goes around it. Absolutely. But yeah. incorporating that is also this drive to really be good stewards oh and to really take care of our planet. And so that's really what really drives us to do the solar energy. The, the cost of the panels has gotten so low as, as the cost of utilities are clearly going up that it's really, it's, it's no longer like the tree hugger thing to do to put solar panels on. We are here with the Louisville Leopards, an amazing percussion group that we just heard. Guys, tell me, is this awesome being a part of this group? Yeah. There's so many kids from the different areas of the community that yeah. these kids wouldn't normally get to meet. These young people, this takes, you know, the practice is just ridiculous. We've made some just phenomenal friends. And what songs did you guys play today? Because everybody was grooving up in the sand to it. I saw some of you dancing too, right? Yeah. Oh, you guys, thank you so much for entertaining us today. It was really great. It's such a great organization. launched an industrial hemp research program in 2014. We're trying to bring hemp back to Kentucky farmers. We're losing tobacco. Uh, the coal industry is dying. Um, we need industries to supplement these losses that we're experiencing. Hemp was our number one cash crop until the early 1900s. Um, Kentucky was basically founded on it. So we're thinking if it was founded on it with rope and textiles and everything we know we can do with it today. There's so much possibility as far as economics go and just health and productivity of what's available from, from hemp. So the hemp oil is actually uh, from the pressed seeds, just like almond oil. Or it's got a great um, omega-3 to omega-6 ratio. Your amino acids, uh, your GLA, it's super healthy for you just as a superfood. The cannabidiol oil is more for the medicinal. Many people have experienced relief from a number of ailments. People like to use it for anything from epilepsy, more serious ailments like that, Alzheimer's. Ladies, thank you so much for your great work. and. Uh, where can they find uh, Kentucky Hempsters? www.kyhempsters.com and we thank you for raising the vibration with us. Hi everybody, I'm standing here with Nina Rodehofer. My background is as a nurse and my partner is a music therapist and we both have backgrounds in music. And we wanted to take our wellness programming outside of the hospital. And as you can see, they've put these instruments on stand so the kids can play together and they've tuned it to an open C. It's really important to us to be able to offer natural solutions to whatever issues people are dealing with. Well, thank you so much for what you do and the difference you make in your community and raising the vibration. So I'm here with Rock and Sarah. I have worked with medicinal plants for over 10 years now and studied them and I write about them. Um, and the Oracle deck is kind of a way to get people to connect with them, not just physically, but also emotionally and spiritually. I'm a member of the committee for the Ferdinand Folk Festival, 
It's an annual uh, music, art, environmental awareness festival. It's free. This is our eighth year in September. We've expanded the idea into a year-round concept of free events, community members stepping up to volunteer to teach classes, workshops, hikes, field trips, concerts. And thank you guys for what you're doing. This oh, is absolutely. Really Here I am with the creators and founders of the Mighty Kindness Hoot Festival, which is just extraordinary. I'm originally from Kentucky, so I've got to say I'm, I'm very proud that this is part of my heritage. So. so we started with a group of people who wanted to do something proactive for the world. Right. So we got a lot of all the nonprofits from the economics to the environment to social justice to healing to arms to unions. Yeah. It's a great wheel of life and we wanted to inject the kindness yeah. that's going on. The hope is putting energy into everything that's kind for yourself. Yeah. Others and the others. You feel that here, and, and the, the, the feeling of the communities that are coming together as one is just extraordinary. <laughs> one of my favorite mottos is the state motto of Kentucky yeah. United we stand, yeah. divided we fall. And uh, you, you're seeing that here. So, ladies, amazing work. Thank, Thank you. you so much Thank for what you you're doing. Amazing work you guys are doing. Keep raising the, the vibrations. And you too, as well. <laughs> yes. All right. The vibes here are just fantastic. There are people getting massage, tai chi, selling great things, bringing awareness to just wonderful uh, ways of healing and raising their own vibrations. So, and creating community, which we're very much yes. about with this tour. So It's incredible. It's really awesome. So we're so excited. Well done, Louisville. Very impressed, Louisville. Keep raising the vibrations. Oh, yeah. <laughs>